I would not have had him come out and cut that promo on that night. did bring up AEW, and I'm not going to sit here and beat a dead horse. I don't want to talk about the press conference and the CM Punk and the the fight. And we thank we've, goodness we've I'm heard tired of talking we've, about it. I, I, we've heard your opinion on it, and, and we've heard everybody's opinion on it. But the the problem that I find with all that is nobody's been talking about a guy that I, I've heard you speak very highly of, and that's MJF. You know, this night was his big return. Everything kind of got overshadowed. Um, I know you're a big fan of his work. Do you think it's kind of ballsy for AEW to let him go out on TV and talk about becoming a free agent and and I could go to see my boy, you know, the other con? And, and Would you ever let one of your talents go out there and talk like that unless you already had them signed up for a long-term deal? Because that could make them look pretty egg in the face in the long run if he does leave them, right? Well, look, here's what we don't know. Here's what I don't know. I don't know if when MJF came back recently, did he come back under a new contract? Fair. Is 2024 just a storyline now? Because Mm. MJF is, for example, under contract to 2026. I mean, he came back. MJF came back. He came back for a reason. I'm assuming the reason was he and Tony sat down and figured out a deal that made MJF happy. So, we don't know what that deal is. And maybe there wasn't an extension. I don't know. It's hard to comment on things we don't know about, right? That's what I, you know, Dave Meltzer and people do that all the time. They, yeah, yeah. They just make <laughs> stuff up and try to make it sound mm-hmm. like they know something they don't. I, I don't know. Um, here, here's what I do know, though. Regardless of whether or not I had MJF signed, if I'm Tony Khan, for the next five years or not, I would not have... I would not have had him come out and cut that promo on that night. I, I I understand that they needed to continue where they left off with MJF's character. I do understand that. And I think it would have been appropriate to address it somehow creatively the following week or even the week after that. But coming off of that nuclear disaster of a media experience and how badly CM Punk just destroyed Tony Khan's credibility, AEW's credibility. I mean, he really, really, he really shit all over the company, shit all over Tony and not in a way that is normally designed to create interest or lead to a match or something. It was just, it, I was embarrassed for Tony. I, I felt bad for Tony and I still do. Because it just happened a couple months earlier with MJF. MJF did the same thing. But that's where I got to ask a question. How 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 much longer can you feel sorry for the man? Uh, I, I mentioned this in the show last week. At what point does it stop being, okay, I feel sorry for him, and does it start being, he has to... I, I can't have sympathy for someone who lets this shit happen to him. Well, and, and, and that was kind of my point, is we're there now. Yeah. And we're absolutely there, which is why I wouldn't have had MJF come out in the opening segment, in the opening segment of that show, come out and basically shit all over AEW again. I, not after what had just happened the night before, for God's sake. Yeah. It's just, I, I, I don't understand. Look, I, I like MJF as a person. We spent a little bit of time together and I enjoy I mean, I don't know him really well. We don't hang out, all that. But but I've been around him enough and talked to him enough, and we communicate every occasionally, um, texts or DMs or whatever. Um, I think he's a phenomenal performer. I think we're just beginning to see what he's going to become. I think he's got an extremely bright future. I just question whether or not it made sense for him to come out and shit all over Tony Khan and AEW after they had been shit upon as, as much as they had the night before. I just I think the timing was wrong.